I wanted to talk to you how, how do we know that <clears throat> climate change is occurring? Um, so what evidence do we have to support this, all right? Well, a we'll, couple of um, points here is there's rapid warming. Um, the Earth is warming at an unprecedented rate not seen in the past 10,000 years. The rate of change since the mid-century, um, mid-20th century is unprecedented. Okay, so it's warming very quickly. Human influence. Since systematic um, scientific assistance began in the 1970s, the influence of human activity on the warming of the climate has evolved from theory to established fact. The current warming trend is different because it's clearly the result of human activity since the mid-1980s. Scientific consensus. Multiple studies published in peer-reviewed scientific journals show that 97% or more of actively publishing climate scientists agree climate warming trends over the past century are extremely likely due to human activities. Observable evidence of rapid climate change includes global temperature rise, warming oceans, shrinking ice sheets, retreating glaciers, decreased snow cover, sea level rise, declining sea ice, uh, extreme weather events and ocean acidification. Okay, um, the greenhouse effects. Scientists uh, attribute um, science attribute the global warming trend of the, since the mid 20th century of the human expansion of the greenhouse uh, effect. Warming that results when the atmosphere traps heat radiating from Earth towards space. So the greenhouse is, is caused by greenhouse gases, which is like water vapor, carbon dioxide, those sorts of things, okay? Methane is another one. Data records. Climate data records provide evidence of climate change key indicators such as global land and ocean temperature increases, rising sea levels, ice loss at Earth's poles and in mountain and glaciers, frequency and severity in changes in extreme weather. Well, that's true, such as hurricanes, heat waves, wildfires, droughts, floods, precipitation, cloud and vegetation covers. I mean, and that's... Um, yeah, look, I think um, this is, um, you know, it's 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 important that um, that we note this. So while Earth's climate has obviously changed in the past, its current rate of warming is happening at a rate not seen in the last ten thousand years. So just go back to the first point. That's very really important. Um, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, since systematic assessments began in the 1970s, the influence of human activity over the warming is now an established fact. Yeah, right. Scientific information, information taken from natural sources such as ice cores, rocks, tree rings, and from modern equipment like satellites and instruments all show the signs of a changing climate. From global temperature rise to melting ice sheets, the evidence of a warming climate abounds. Um, I mean, Earth's climate is precedent since the 1920s. I mean, Earth's climate has changed throughout history. Just in the last 800,000 years, there have been eight cycles of ice ages and warmer periods, with the end of the last ice age about 11,000 years, marking the beginning of the modern climate era and of human civilization. Most of these climate changes are attributed to very small variations in the Earth's orbit, okay, which are called uh, Milankovitch cycles, all right? They're called Milankovitch cycles. They change the amount of solar energy our planet receives. The current warming trend is different because they're clearly the result of human activities, yep. It's undeniable that human activities have produced the atmospheric gases that have trapped more of the sun's energy in the Earth system. This energy has warmed the atmosphere, ocean and land and widespread and rapid changes in atmosphere, ocean and cryosphere and biosphere have occurred. 
And look, um, Earth orbiting satellites and new technologies have helped scientists see the big picture, collecting many different types of information about our planet and climate all over the world. This data collected over many years reveals the signs and patterns of a changing climate. Scientists so demonstrated the heat trapping nature of carbon dioxide and other ga gases. Yep, in the mid 19th century, many of the scientists instruments in NASA uses to study a climate's focus on how these gases affect the movement of infrared radiation which is the energy. Infrared radiation is an energy in the form of heat that comes from the Earth's surface and travels out towards space. Greenhouse gases block infrared radiation trapping the heat within the atmosphere and causing it to warm. Okay. So these gases affect the movement of infrared, they stop them from leaving. From the impacts of increases in these gases, there's no question that greenhouse gases warm the earth. Ice cores drawn from Greenland, Antarctica and tropical mountain glaciers show that climate change responds, that earth's climate responds to changes in greenhouse gas levels. Ancient evidence can be found in tree rings, ocean sediments, coral reefs, and layer of sedimentary rocks. This ancient or paleo climate evidence reveals that current warming is occurring roughly 10 times faster than the average rate of warming after an ice age. Carbon dioxide from human activities is increasing about 250 times faster than it did from natural sources after the last ice age. The Planet's average surface temperature has risen about 2 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 degree Celsius or 1.5 degrees roughly since the late 19th century. A change driven largely by carbon dioxide emissions, methane and others like water vapour. Most of the warming occurred in the last 40 years with even the most recent years being the warmest. The years 2016-2020 are tied for the warmest year on record. The ocean's getting warmer. The ocean obviously has absorbed much of this increased heat with um, with the top 100 metres of ocean showing a warming of 0 0.67 degrees Celsius or 0 0.33 degrees Celsius since 1969. The Earth stores 90% of its extra energy in the ocean. Okay, ice sheets are shrinking. The Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets have decreased in mass. Data from NASA's gravity recovery and climate experiments show Greenland lost an average of 279 billion tons of ice per year between 1993 and 2019, while Antarctica lost 148 billion tons of ice per year. Glaciers are retreating. Okay, so retreating everywhere around the world, including the Alps, Himalayas, Andes, Rockies, Alaska, and Africa. All right, so snow cover is decreasing. Satellite observations reveal that the amount of spring snow cover in the northern hemisphere has decreased over the past five years, and the snow is melting earlier. Sea level is rising. Global sea levels rose uh, about 20 centimetres in the last centimetre, last century. So 20 centimetres in the last century. The rate in the last two decades has nearly doubled that in the last century and accelerating slightly every year. Arctic sea ice is decreasing. Both the extent and the thickness of Arctic sea ice has declined rapidly over the last several decades. Extreme events are increasing in frequency. The number of record high temperature events in in different countries has been increasing, while the number of low temperature events has been decreasing since 1950. The increased uh, number of rainfall events, increased storms, cyclones, hurricanes, tornadoes, hailstorms, they're getting worse. Ocean acidification is getting worse. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the acidity of the ocean surface 
waters has increased by about 30%. This increase is due to humans emitting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and hence being more absorbed into the ocean. The ocean has absorbed between 20 and 30% of total anthropoth anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions. Yeah, so we're basically causing a huge, huge, huge problem. Okay, so I mean, it's not just NASA, different country um, organizations of scientific organizations agree as well. And like, it's, there's plenty of evidence and information about this. There's really no excuse for not believing in that human um, climate change is occurring. And we're going to do something about it.